Hi there guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Changavi and I'm a final year medical student at Imperial College London. Today, I'm taking you through my time volunteering on the COVID front line. A lot of gel, gel, hand wash, a bit of hot yoga. Don't worry, stay tuned and all will become clear. All except my skin. And of course, being somewhat useful. Let's go. I'm feeling positive. Feeling positive but hoping to test negative, okay? Let me clarify that. Good morning, guys. I have some exciting news. Your girl is volunteering on the COVID front lines from today and I am super excited. I'll talk you through my feelings once I get there because right now your girl is running a bit late. So I'm going to get going. In the meantime, I'm listening to this really good, cool podcast. Let me show you. So I am listening to Bridgerton, um, the podcast. I've watched the series and if you guys aren't obsessed with it, what are you doing? What are you doing? You need to get on Bridgerton. But anyway, um, I was watching it like all of last week um, in my week off and now I am obsessed. I'm on my way. Okay, we need to go. We need to go. I'll see you guys once I get there. <laughs> in search of the scrubs machine. Wearing scrubs instead of your normal clothes into wards helps with infection control. And there it is. What is it? I don't know. Oh, that's a small. Quick changeover, so we are free to get onto the wards. Say hello to your army in blue. The wards there's a special type of mask we're recommended to wear this hopefully gives a bit more protection against coronavirus especially if you're surrounded by patients who are confirmed coronavirus positive but to use these masks we have to get mask fitted i got mask fitted earlier on this year here i'm wearing one of the, these protective masks and every couple of seconds the nurse is pumping in a fragrance if i can smell what this fragrance is then that basically means the particles have gotten through the mask and into my nose that she asked me to bend from side to side, forwards and backwards during this time, just to make sure that the mask was secure from all sides. Luckily though, I couldn't smell a thing. So I passed this test with flying colors. Welcome back guys. I have a bit of a mukbang, is that how you say it? A mukbang situation going on here because um, I'm hungry and I haven't eaten all day, so I'm gonna eat. I've had some rice and then, cause I was too hungry to fill before I ate something. So I've had some rice, don't worry. This is not my lunch. But I wanted to fill you in on how I'm feeling, okay? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I am just so privileged. Last time we had a pandemic on this scale was probably about a century ago. This is a war that we are fighting right now. And it's such a privilege to be able to help on the front lines. As a medical student, it's always like your dream to be wanted on the ward, to be like making a difference, to do something useful. Before this, I've taken blood a few times, but I've still felt a bit kind of scared, you know, to do it by myself. So the first time I went in, I was like, I'm scared. And I asked one of my junior doctors to come with me to watch me do this, and she did. And then, after a few times i was like you know what it's really not that bad like i can do this and it was really cool i felt like a proper doctor induction this morning one of the first things that they said was okay you know when you're here you need to act like proper doctors you are basically interim junior doctors you're going to be junior doctors in a couple of months and that scared me that is true by the end of this year guys we are going to be junior doctors i mean i'm going to be a junior doctor and you're on this journey with me so you're that sort of transition is go it's going to happen this year and it started today and i had a really cool experience today there was a relative who was waiting outside the ward and he came in with lots of food and like a newspaper for his mum who doesn't speak english and he asked me if i could go inside and give it to his mum you know she hadn't seen anyone like come and talk to her in so long so that was like a privilege and to be that bridge between her son and her obviously i'm sure they've been video calling but it's not the same you know 
as a medical student i am thrilled actually be there and see these patients and to be in that zone it hits different and it hits different in the sense that um it's a privilege once and one thing and two it's just nice to be there for these people and to feel like you're making a difference you know that's why i studied medicine it is a once in a lifetime opportunity guys yes i made a difference you know like dr chang if you coming your way stay subscribed to follow in on the journey see you guys soon bye i went to the library for a little bit of work in the afternoon because i had a bit of free time and oh my goodness it's just hit me that i have 58 days before finals <laughs>i'm feeling a mixture of emotions i'm happy i'm excited i am proud of myself and beyond that it is grateful that my medical school has organized this opportunity that for me to go and feel useful and help out my colleagues in this tough time and at the same time also a bit worried about passing this on to my parents most of all so yeah it's a mixture of emotions but overall i'm feeling positive feeling positive but hoping to test negative okay let me clarify that i have just um come home it's getting a bit dark so you can't see my face too well but i'm about to get changed into my um outfit or my pajamas which i'm gonna wear into my bathroom and then have a shower and change all over again so um see you guys in a bit you probably can't see now but um I'm ready to go jump straight into the shower. Got changed, like I've changed everything from my socks to everything. And I'm going to change again in like half an hour once I've had a shower. But this is just doing the most. It's inconvenient for me. I don't like it, but it's just doing the most to minimize any chance of um, transmitting that infection or transmitting that virus inside my home trying Guys, to do my best eat this i spent all of 2020 the previous two lockdowns putting on face masks and like not like face masks but you know like face packs and cleaning out my skin and you know getting it all clear only for me to wear a face mask like a legit face mask for two days in a row and for mask me to hit it is what it is at this point guys what even is it who knows but it is what it is You've been given um, these lateral flow testing kits. They test to see if you have um, any COVID antigens. So this is an asymptomatic testing kit. Um, you're supposed to test yourself twice a week. And I just got a message from uh, NHS saying I haven't tested myself this week. So I'm going to test myself now. It's my after my second day on the COVID ward. I feel like, you know, today's a good day to test. If it does turn out to be positive and I'm asymptomatic, then I can isolate myself uh, I wouldn't obviously go into hospital. Yeah, hopefully, hope it goes away ASAP. If you've done one, you know what it looks like. So this is a pregnancy test. Not This isn't a pregnancy test, sorry, but this kind of looks like a pregnancy test. It works in a similar way to a pregnancy test. I have like a little towel next to me because I'm bound to sneeze. So you're gonna watch me put this up my nose. It's better ticklish. It's not fun. Oh, oh, are we negative? Are we positive? This weight is so intense. Yes, we passed. It's 7.15 in the evening and I'm ready to knock out. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm so tired. I'm knackered. Um, and I think it's because I didn't sleep properly the night before. And I've basically avoided um, any sort of contact with anyone I remotely care about, which is a lot of people. So um, I haven't seen anyone, I haven't been out, and I feel like this is what it's going to be like for the next few weeks. It's a bit scary. But, um, yes, I'm just going to go to sleep, man. I'm going to read a book and go to sleep, and I have to wake up super early tomorrow. Good night. Oh, is that a double chin? Is that a double... Oh, God. You know what? We just have to own it. We just have to own it. Good night. Um, sleep tight. Hope the bed bed bugs don't bite. I'm going to bed. It's it's only Monday. It's only day one, and I'm already exhausted. What? The Hope hell? you guys 
enjoyed um, having an insight into what being a medical student at the front lines looks like. If you did like this video, please give a thumbs up, leave your comments, questions down below and stay subscribed to follow in on the journey of me becoming a doctor and beyond. So thank you and see you guys soon. I hope you're all staying at home, staying safe, make sure you're washing your hands. Um, and even if you are not sim um, symptomatic, be aware that you could be passing this on to other vulnerable people. So that's why it's so, so important that you are staying at home, staying safe. Um, apart from that, that's all from me and see you guys for another day.